morning. Happy Monday. It's not even morning anymore. It's like 1230. But happy Monday. Yesterday, we had a very busy, interesting, fun day. Uh, we started off the morning going to the movie theater to see Dune. And it was... Dune-tastic. I was going to say exceptional. <laughs> Dune-sectional. I thought it was exceptional. John thought it was great. We were big fans. Big, big fans. In fact, I'm, I kind of want to go watch it again before it leaves Dolby. Yeah. Because um, it was so good. But that's what we did in the morning. And then Jonathan had... Jonathan had a photo shoot at animal kingdom yesterday not me so i got to be the one on the other side of the camera uh i did not take the pictures but i was standing in the background holding all the props and such but we went with our friend gabriella she is she was on the podcast if you listen to the podcast uh if not you should listen to her episode because it was really great but she, she is by the waves photo on Instagram if you want to check her out, but she took some headshots for Jonathan yesterday at Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. So when we were at Hollywood Studios, we were like, let's eat dinner. So we ate dinner at the docking bay and Gabriella was like, I just really want to ride a ride. So we get in line for Rise of the Resistance we ride the whole ride <laughs> and right as our car is going to like the offboarding spot for us to get off the ride, the ride breaks and they have to like evacuate everyone from the ride. So we, we rode the entire ride and then because we got had to get walked off of it, we were able to get a free lightning lane pass to go back on the ride <laughs> so we hopped in line for slinky dog by the time we were done with slinky dog rise of the resistance was up and running again so we hopped back in line via our free lightning lane road rise again for a full time and then got some blue milk but it was so much fun a uh, very unexpected day but it was a great day and now it's Monday and we are ruck, well, I was about to say rolling and trucking at the same time. Uh, now we're just rolling along starting our week. We're making some lunch. We've got a Caesar salad kit from Trader Joe's. We're gonna pop in, well John's got one of them already in the microwave. We're gonna eat the butternut squash uh, mac and cheese from Trader Joe's something very quick and easy today because of the day i had yesterday did not get the vlog up so i'm like halfway done editing that and my camera's about to die so i love that for me 8 47 p.m i took a bath it was glorious recorded the new section of the podcast for wednesday jonathan is currently getting a head start on editing the episode he's literally the greatest thing that's ever happened to me i'm like cannot even stress that enough um he has just stepped up so much to help me with the podcast and i am just so grateful for him i am baking some halloween cookies i'm doing the little ghosts those are my favorite i don't know why they all taste the same but the ghosts just are perfect
It's um 4.30 and I'm hitting a massive wall. I've been hit a massive wall for like a couple hours now, but I've been trying to power through it. I can't anymore, so I'm done. Yep. Must be nice. You have a meeting? Sure do. Why'd you schedule a meeting so late? Because I need to get it done. Mm. Very quick before John's meeting. I got That's It bars. They're fruit bars. They're quite delicious. Jonathan, verdict? They're great. You liked them? Okay. Other thing that I got, some splits. Um, these are the almond butter and raspberry jam, I think. I got some greens for smoothies, so I don't have to keep spinach all the time. And then I got this piercing relief sea salt concentrate because it's been a month of me struggling with my nose and I have an appointment on Thursday at the piercing place to see how to get rid of it. So I bought this hoping that it works. That's my very short and quick Amazon haul. Okay, thanks, bye. It's like six o'clock now, six twelve. I took a bath. John is playing. Oh, Blair wants to go outside. Here you go. Oh, it feels nice out there. John is playing Legend of Zelda. I went and grabbed my book. And we're just gonna have a nice chill night because Jonathan is the best ever. He agreed to get Chipotle for dinner. That's me, the best ever. Thank you. Welcome to Michigan. That's it. That literally was perfect timing. <laughs> um, get in here. I got some chips on the side. On the side. Tortilla on the side. I got a burrito bowl. And John, I can't get it out because it's like the length of the bowl. John got quesadillas. Delicious. I normally get a veggie bowl, but I was feeling some type of way. So I got chicken in it. Look, I really do. Look how freaking cute. Um, oh my gosh, a lot of cheese. Yeah, I was feeling some type of way, so I got chicken. Would you like, are you gonna play games while you eat? No. You wanna watch something? I can't or for putting food in my mouth. Do you wanna see what Freeform has available? And then maybe we can watch something spooky? You passed it up. You passed it up. I don't know what the logo it's the black one with the double F's. <laughs> Look down here underneath Brit Box. made myself a second cup of coffee and I'm very excited about it and Jonathan is currently laying in bed because he woke up with a huge migraine so that is not fun and I feel very bad for him so 
he's got his eye mask on and I put this like three hour migraine like meditation sound on YouTube um so hopefully that kind of helps him out but um, yeah I'm in the coziest outfit today I'm in Harvard sweatshirt some long socks and Walmart boy sweatpants because it is so chilly out today it's like 65 degrees and I'm living for it and the cats are loving it they're outside on the porch right now and they're just living their best lives it's Wednesday so a new podcast episode went up so if you haven't listened to that be sure to do so it is with my friend Maya she actually is a listener of Bippity Boppity Basics decided to start her own podcast and so she reached out to me for me to be on her podcast and um, I told her that I would love to have her on mine. So my episode on her podcast is out. It's called Miss Blue Skies. I will link it down below. I listened, I was able to listen to it uh, for the first time yesterday and it was so weird to be a guest on someone else's podcast but it was so much fun and I loved everything that we talked about of course we talked all things Disney and then um her episode on mine is really great and really fun and so yeah I'm excited for you guys to hear it it's up now so I spent well first of all it's 3 30 I spent all afternoon watching um classes on the adobe mac no what is it adobe max conference jonathan said that i would like some and signed me up for them so we've been watching them together on the tv in the living room and working on our laptops while we watch them so that was fun i've been drinking some kombucha i decided that i haven't been drinking it for dinner on a regular basis so i wanted the whole bottle 10 out of 10 would recommend that actually i might pop it in the fridge so it can get cold again what i'm doing now is i'm starting on dinner i'm starting on dinner this early because i'm making gumbo tonight and that honestly takes several hours to do. I'm going to make chicken and sausage gumbo tonight. We have not christened this apartment with gumbo, so that'll be exciting. We have a cold front. We're supposed to get severe weather tomorrow, which is bringing in more cold weather, so that's exciting. I'm going to try and carve our pumpkins tonight and definitely need to do those dishes behind me. So, Let's begin the montage of making dinner and tidying up. Here she is. Oh, my camera's all foggy. Here she is. She looks perfect. I can never have a child because I would never love it as much as this gumbo. 
this specific one or any of them? The ones that you make me on occasion. Mm. <laughs> My hands are slippery from playing with the chicken. <laughs> I'll open it, hold on. John's having a hard day. Good morning, magical friends. Happy Thursday. Today is the most perfect and gloomy fall day ever. It is supposed to thunderstorm all day. The thunderstorm is going to bring a cold front in. Like, literally, best day ever. Um, so today, we are continuing to watch the Adobe Max conference. I don't know if I mentioned that yesterday, but we watched a couple sessions yesterday and now we're going to watch um, all of them today. So what we did was, you can see Jonathan just put it on the as well as we used to, it's time to get on video. And I know um, that can be super scary, but I'm here to help you today. Jonathan basically is putting the sessions on my desktop, airplaying them to the TV, and we're working both from our laptops on the couch as we watch the sessions you because keep your customers engaged and reach new audiences. Three, how to use Adobe huh? Spark to create brand No, content. I didn't pause it. I had to put together you. reels in Adobe Brush. Brush and then how to repurpose that content across social channels. I was so, just letting them know what our schedule is today. But yeah, we've been doing that so we can both work on our other projects but also watch the conference as we go. So that is what we're doing today, mainly. And then tonight, we are going back to the place where I changed my nose ring, uh, my nose into a ring. I've like had the sore for a month now. It's literally a month today that I've changed the ring and the sore like popped up like two days afterwards. So I messaged them and I was like, hey, I've been like trying to clean it. it. It just won't go away. It's pretty persistent. So they said come in so we can check on it. So hopefully they tell me how to get rid of it because I'm really struggling with it. And it makes me not want to be on camera or anything like that because I'm kind of self-conscious about it. So that's really our only plan for tonight. Can we um, carve pumpkins tonight? Probably. Why won't it focus on you? There you go. Can we cut pumpkins? Okay. You like chatting during the. Hello. It is almost 2 o'clock. It's 1 25. I was listening to some cozy autumn coffee shop and rain sounds ambiance on the TV uh, I just quickly put on minor amounts of makeup because I need to shoot a photo for a brand my next Adobe class is at 2 o'clock I think um, so that is what is up. The sky is still very gray. It's not raining currently, but it's only like 80 degrees outside, which is fairly cold. Not cold, but like cooler than what it normally is. And I'm waiting because we're supposed to have um, a fire inspection today of our apartment, like to make sure that the fire detectors and the fire extinguishers and all that good stuff is up to code. So I'm waiting for them to come here too. My nose is looking kind of better. It's like starting to scab over. I'm hoping that they help me get rid of it tonight. But I'm going to press on. I'm going to shoot this photo. And then I need to film some TikToks and Reels. And I think I have two classes today. The 2 o'clock one is a TikTok class. And then 
I think I have one more, but I don't remember what it's about. Um, but that's that's the uh, update. Okay, I shot that photo for the brand. Now I am making an afternoon cup of coffee. Halfway for a prop, halfway because I need it. I need to film some TikToks and Reels um, as much as possible for the pod and my personal stuff. Um, and it is 1.46, so I need to get on my 2 o'clock class pretty soon, but I'm going to try and do as much as I can before then. And then watch the class, go through the pictures I just took while watching the class. It's on TikToks, so that should be interesting and hopefully insightful. And then, uh, yeah, get on with my day. So, changed into my new sweatpants, my new favorite sweatpants, I should say. The ones from Fabletics. They fit perfectly, and they're so freaking comfortable. I wish I had, like, 40 of them. Let's get working this afternoon all right the work day is done the guys came and checked our fire extinguishers and they set off the fire alarm for the entire building yeah and the cats didn't like that very much i did not like it very much i um, put on shoes in the middle of a work day <laughs> john made these gorgeous salads from hello fresh so i'm very excited to eat this I've got my kombucha, and we're just gonna eat dinner. We have to go charge, and then we gotta go to my appointment for my nose. And that is what is up. Oh, and then we're gonna come back and carve pumpkins. Probably. <sighs> yes. yes, yes, let's go. Still a dreary day, in case you were wondering. Doesn't feel like the temperature has dropped. What's the temperature? 77, so yeah, it kind of dropped. It was 81 last time I checked it. But that is what we got going on. Okay, if you are queasy about anything, uh, I would say skip to, I don't even know. We are back from the piercers. And basically she said that I probably bumped my ring like in my sleep in the middle of the night and it aggravated it and it never recovered. So she took the ring out, I have it here, and she said let's put a stud in it, let it heal. Then we'll wait a whole month after it heals and we'll try the ring again. So, this is what she looks like. She's not cute. She definitely bled a lot. Um, it was so painful. Honestly, it wasn't that painful. But it was more painful than what, like, actually piercing it was. So, that was unfortunate. But, she sent me home with some care instructions and she is what word am i looking for she is positive i don't know what word i'm looking for basically she thinks that it's going to heal and it'll be fine and we can put the ring back in in a month confident thank you it's a great word to use so um basically what she said was get gauze I have to pour warm water on it, put it in the microwave for a few seconds, and then like sandwich my piercing. So the top and outside is getting um, like hot water, but also inside is getting hot water. And she said don't put pressure on it and to Text her on Instagram in seven days and send her a progress photo. Would you like a funnel? You sound like such a millennial. I'm going to text her on Instagram later. I don't have her phone number. Would you like a funnel? 
I'm gonna FaceTime her on Skype. Are you avoiding me asking you for no, a funnel? I'm fine. Are you sure? This is the one that doesn't need it. It's the other one that does. Okay. <laughs> no, what? Nothing! Come at me. So we went and got gauze. And then to make myself feel better. Uh, I got I, some Hagen dazs <laughs> Did you try to make it run with gauze? <laughs> You're so um, I'm telling you, it was pretty freaking painful. I'm not gonna lie. Like, the pain that I was anticipating feeling when I got my nose pierced, that's what I felt today. Like, my eyes watered. Everything that I had read about was the sensation I felt today. It was not fun. But I got coffee, haagen because... I thought we had... What? I didn't think we had that much. I knew left. I thought we only had two. Was yeah, I was wondering why you were getting more. I thought you were out. Rip. Oh, nice of you. You're welcome. Oh, this ice cream's so good. You want to bite it? No. You do, though. I like the idea of it, but my tummy does not. Like, my tummy is turning looking at it right now. I can't do it. I'm Jonathan! Sorry. What? Why do you need me to? Because I wanted you to. Also, I got this cute little key cover. It's Hedwig. <laughs> Wait, you bought that? <laughs> yes, I bought it. I told you I was gonna. Well, you made a big deal about it being for me and how I needed to I wanted you to get one, one get too. No, that's not what you said. You never said two. You just said that you wanted it for me. No, I said I want both of us to get one. Okay, you're gonna get comments on this video about how we're not happy together. <laughs> Comment down below if you think me and don't say that. <laughs> Why? You're scared of the truth? No, I know the truth. Do you it's know? Set me free. <laughs> oh my god. Can you give me my keys? What is the video that people said we weren't happy together? Somebody say that? Yeah. No. They didn't say we weren't happy together. They said that I talk for you. Oh, that's right. And that it's gonna cause you to. <laughs> To leave you, yeah, for sure, for sure. Which is what happens every time a man has a woman that talks for him, is he's the one that makes the effort to leave. Which I feel like I don't even talk for you that much. Like, am I the loudmouth of the relationship? Yes. I know that, but I don't think I talk for you. Do you think I talk for you? Not funny. Okay. I don't know how to do this. Uh, it is nine o'clock, so we are not carving pumpkins tonight. We'll do that tomorrow. It's so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we'll probably do that tomorrow. <sighs> Maybe at lunchtime or something. Look how cute. <laughs> I know, isn't it? And it honestly goes really cute with my little. Yeah. Little keychain key thing that I got going on. Stop, it's so precious. I can't handle it. So, I'm gonna go put gauze on my nose for 10 minutes and eat this ice cream. What are you looking for? Everything in my entire <laughs> life because I've made seven trips back and forth for different items. <laughs> We're thriving. I don't want to talk for John. <laughs> what else is new? But he's thriving. No, someone really did comment on that. I think it was my... I think it was my iPhone 13 video that uh, this guy commented on it and was like, that's the one that you said that we weren't happy about the phones. No, that was just the same video. Oh. Just two different comments. <laughs> yeah, one of them. One that they were like, it oh, was. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. It was the apartment hunting one. But it was a recent comment. And <laughs> it basically was like, my girlfriend did that too. 
and we broke up because she was a controlling like crazy bitch and I was gonna comment back and be like oh cuz he told me you constantly say I in this video yeah. and that my girlfriend used to do that and that's the reason why we broke up because it was never we it was always I and I was gonna comment back and be like I say I in this video because I am the one who did the work <laughs> like yeah, I, did not do anything. I am the one who found the apartments I'm the one who came in toward them I'm the one that reached out I did all the things like John was just like yeah sure before I could comment back he had deleted it so rip to my justice hello friends happy friday um i am doing pretty good on this friday we have a lot to do today still and we've done a lot already so just getting ready to pop out. I need to go to Target really quick. Um, I need to return some things that I bought last week for Boobash. So I'm gonna return those. I need to get a birthday gift, a graduation gift. And just see what I can find honestly because I just I just want to go have a nice like afternoon at Target you know um, so I'm just gonna put contacts in because wearing glasses with a mask sucks my nose is looking a lot better um, it's still not looking great but it's looking better so that's good so my sister-in-law gets here tomorrow um, I don't know if I mentioned that. If I did not, my sister-in-law is coming visit us tomorrow for uh, like a long weekend. And we are surprising her with tickets to Disney. So we'll go to Disney on Monday. And that's why I want to get like a large portion of this vlog edited today slash tonight because... I want to be able to spend as much time with her as I can because I have not seen her in a while. And I just don't want to be working all, this is a cute angle, isn't it? Um, I just don't want to be working all weekend. Okay, my afternoon did not go as planned. As per the usual. As per the usual. So, we just got back from Target. You're and so tall. I know, you're so tall. And it is a beautiful day today. The weather is so amazing. Ugh, it is just, it feels so nice out here. The cats have been enjoying it all day long. Such a good day. But I'm going to um, put together the birthday gift I told you that I had to get. I'm going to put gumbo heating up on the stove top and John's gonna make rice and we're gonna carve our pumpkins and then I am going to edit this vlog. And I think I've decided that if the vlog ends up being fairly long, which I know I've gotten a lot of footage this week so I'm assuming it's going to be, that I might just stop it today and end it here so we shall see if that happens but that is the plan for tonight what do you want to watch tonight xbox the xbox i'm just gonna play the xbox okay well then we'll do that instead but yeah that's what we're gonna do just a chill day i'll probably tidy up the guest room for Susanna to stay in it this week and yeah, so let's heat up the gumbo. We can do that. Okay, I'm gonna 
just let it heat up on low and kind of stir it occasionally and I'm going to put the Evermore album on our um, turntable and just have a nice evening. Light some candles, let it feel all fall and festive in here. And get in the mood for Halloween. Here's the sitch. It is nine o'clock. Um, I just edited this whole video that you're watching. And all week long, I have sounded like a broken record, hoping to carve these freaking pumpkins. Can we carve pumpkins tonight? Can we do it right now? I'm definitely gonna end this video <clears throat> tonight because it's already like a 40 minute vlog, but I want to carve these dang pumpkins. We do not, we can't find the tools. So we're gonna do it um, with knives and hope that it goes okay. We're gonna roast the seeds. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Never. <laughs> We're done with these, aren't we? Mm -hmm. All that. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My camera died. So I'm determined to finish this, okay? I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna carve this freaking what it looks like. Okay? Oh. What it looks like. Okay. Oh. Look at all this. I I'm cleaning it up. Actually, probably all that was probably me. No, I literally just. Did I it. can set you free. Are you gonna make a move? Are you gonna come and see? Whatever you wanna do, you know what's cool with me. Do you realize that you basically made the emoji? Yeah. 
This is John's cute little hard eyes pumpkin. And this is <laughs> my derpy little pumpkin. <laughs> It's, it's like a reflection of what I feel inside for Halloween. It's like, ooh, let me be spooky and witchy with my moon and my stars, but like I'm really derpy and happy about it. <laughs> so, there they are. Let's put them outside. I know how to handle it. I believe in what we can do. Would you come to my party if I had one in the lobby of the hotel down the street? Tell everyone that you meet that I'm just chilling ending the vlog we're gonna roast pumpkin seeds thank you for watching the vlog um thanks for watching vlogtober this is the last vlog of october i can't believe that it's already november it's insane well, that's depressing. <laughs> so for the month of november we are back to the normal we're back to the normal twice a week upload schedule wednesdays and sundays so I will see you on Wednesday for a brand new video and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, listen to the pod, all that good stuff. And I will see you in my next video. I hope you have a magical day.